Kaiser Chiefs have reportedly made contact with another coach. Not Pizom Simane, not Nazreddin Nabi, not Ensmin Tintorp. And before the smart guys go to the comment section and say, he will be arrested for lying. This is according to Tiski Times. Not something I made up in my head. So, who is this coach that we are talking about? Well, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about his accomplishments. We're going to talk about where he has been and why he might be a good coach for the Chiefs and why he might not be a good coach for the Kizu Chiefs. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this, this is your fans meet and talk about Kizu Chiefs. I'm a Kusi. Football club, Jose Peseiro. I'm sure you've heard that name. He's a coach who is coming from the land of the Portuguese. <laughs> that is so weird. And as we know, Kizu Chiefs does not just go for any coach. He currently has a UEFA pro license which means he's qualified enough to even receive a call from Kaiser Chiefs and if you look at the important thing that everyone always asks about coaches who come to coach Kaiser Chiefs has he won something and the answer is an emphatic yes 2002-2003 was an assistant coach of Real Madrid when they won the Spanish Super Cup he moved on and he was coaching what's the name of this team the Portuguese side did Braca in the 2012-2013 season and he actually won a league. A league that is usually dominated by Benfica and Porto but he was able to win a league with Braga. And he also won the league in the 2015-2016 season with the one and the only Alali in Egypt. But just recently for those of you you are familiar with this name and with the face because you just saw him whoop Bafana Bafana, well he didn't really whoop Bafana Bafana out he actually won against Bafana Bafana in the semi-finals against the men from the land of Jolof and Hani, Nigeria because he also led Nigeria just in the recent AFCON to the finals and then we ended up, they ended up losing so he actually got a silver medal with Nigeria as well so his CV does not look Bad, right but what are the what's his status and where is this thing of case chiefs have conducted him come from well after nigeria crashed out of the well they did not really crash out after they lost the final they cut ties with him because they wanted to win and then they cut ties with him obviously so now he's a free agent and um no i know this we know this Whenever someone is free, Kaiser Chiefs tends to get closer to them. So he's a free agent, which means bringing him to Chiefs won't be so demanding like Kunabi, who still has a year in his contract. So he is a person who's free. And number two, apparently, the report that Itiski Times published says that he was contacted by Chiefs. And then when Itiski Times called the agent of Jose Peseiro, they found Uguti, the agent, was sort of coy and he ended up saying that, yeah, there's been some contact but nothing more to it. This happens in football all the time because the team that wants a player or a coach will call that coach or a player and ask them about their availability. So I guess that was the kind of conversation that they were having. But there has been nothing more but the fact that they conducted him in the first place does tell you that there must be some interest from Kaiser Chiefs' side. Pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. Number one, obviously, the guy has won some things, so you can give him credit for that. And number two is the fact that we have been talking about the egos of Kaiser Chiefs, and you look at how he handled Nigeria, right? There were a lot of big players in the team, but he was able to kind of keep the things balanced. Abu Victor Oziman just won the player of the african player of the season thingy and everyone was just it didn't look like the team was disjointed everything looked okay enough in the team so he's used to big egos as well having coached or having been in part of other systems there are big clubs like Abo Braga even because they're a relatively big club in portugal Abo madrid being at madrid coaching at alali yabonanji all these big teams they have given him experience with big people with big players who have big egos so managing the egos of case Chiefs will not be a, a, a big problem for him and the other pro that you might have not known is the fact that he's the coach who's responsible who gave Edson Castillo his debut for the national team of Venezuela back in 2021 so that means he already has some sort of a connection or contact with the team of Kaiser Chiefs 
through Edson Castillo. So that's just something worth throwing in there. And obviously, the one that is more important for the club is the fact that he's very cheap, he's available, they can just go and get him at this very moment. But what are the disadvantages when it comes to getting Uchoze Peseiro? Would all serve our own Jose. <laughs> Anyways, one of the disadvantages, obviously, is that the man is 63 and he's been coaching like since a very, for a very long time. But let's just start from 2002, 2003, when he was an assistant coach of, of, of Real Madrid. A coach who was in that setup, don't you think he's supposed to have won more than what he has won? Right? Because winning three things and actually the Super Cup doesn't count because for me it doesn't count because he was an assistant coach one number two there is also the fact that he was an assistant he was an assistant coach one but number two it's also just one game it's not like he was winning as well the other the, 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 it wasn't a tournament you get to the super cup it's just one game so to me the super cups i don't really count them but they're counted as major trophies because you have to win a tournament for you to be in the super cup in the first place so maybe it counts maybe it doesn't and number two is that I look at his system with Nigeria. He he it wasn't really a 4-4-2 because at times it looked like a 4-3-3 and Osimen was central and it was the boy from Leicester on the left who's now no longer Ulukman, Ademola Lukman, and the other guy that they were threatening us and then we handled him with so much care. He played a 4-3-3 with Nigeria, but overall his system, his preferred system, seems to be a 4-4-2. And I know that's the system that Chiefs was playing back in the 2008s, 2007s, early 2000s even, or even spilling onto the 2010s. But for me, the question is, is the 442 still a formation that is good enough when you're going forward? Because a lot of coaches will set up in a 442 when they are defending, but not when they are going forward. So it worries me, Uguti, will he not be one of those coaches who are still holding on to the past? we shall see the other worry obviously that i have is the fact that he is available and he's cheap so how much of that is affecting Kaiser chiefs decision making because for me all i the thing that i want the most from Kaiser chiefs the decisions the things that influence the decisions that they make shouldn't be is the coach available is it cheap can you afford him but it should be does he play the kind of football that we want for our club? And because of that, can he be a good fit with our squad, with our, with our vision going long term? Because if that's not the main key that you are looking at from a coach and you are thinking that he's a good coach, he's won a lot of things and his football fits our style of play, then let's get him. You get me? So that's my criteria when, when going after a coach. Uguti, what can he do? How does that fit into what Kaiser Chiefs is trying to do? Not how much he's worth. Because once you do that, then we're going back to that situation once again where we're like, okay, financially not good, but footballing wise, great. But we're thinking as a business. So we're going to go for dun, 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 the cheapest coach available, which is one of the reasons why we've been going back and forth, not signing the proper players because the team is just afraid to spend money on the coaches that they need but i have to hear from you what do you think based on where he's been based on the things that he has accomplished do you think that it would make a good fit for his chiefs and why do let me know down on the comment section below and if you've been watching but you have not subscribed or liked the video why are you doing this to me thank you so much for watching and until next time remember equals i'll pillow more